Hello and welcome to the day one of this year's Rendering Engine Architecture Conference. Um, here are your speakers for today. Um, Steve McCauley, the Technical Director of Sony Santa Monica. Hey, everyone. Uh, Natalia, uh, the Distinguished Technical Fellow and Chief Architect, VP, Weather Tools and Unity Technologies. Hi, folks. Michael Vance, the CTO of Activision Publishing. Morning. And myself, I'm Senior Technical Director of Simulation of Roblox. All right, before we jump into the meat of the conference, uh, a few words about uh, React and why we are here. Uh, in rendering, we, all, we often talk about pixels. You know, we have a lot of academic venues and the industry conference, everything in between, C-graph, Herographic, JC, you know, all those. Um, I have actually to do a, here a little special mention for I3D, which just uh, uh, aired uh, last month and uh, the content uh, are available uh, on their YouTube channels. I really enjoyed uh, also the keynotes there. You may see some familiar faces if you uh, catch to the conference, so I recommend that. Um, and we also have venues to talk about draw goals, so how to make our GPUs do the work very fast in an efficient fashion. Um, I always found that we are really blessed to be in an industry that it's uh, very open to uh, knowledge sharing and collaboration. So uh, why starting yet another conference? Well, shiny pixels and fast draw calls don't make an engine. Those are best at features of an engine, and you know that because they can always change with some engineering and elbow grease. What is harder to change and we don't discuss as much is the engine architecture itself. Um, architecture intended as both the design choices and trade-offs a uh, specific engine made, and the reason why we made the design choices and trade-offs. We see 3D going everywhere in a variety of different industries, products, that is uh, more diversity in the video game landscape today than ever. And even within a given category and product, um, people make the difference. So you have on the product side, different genres, targets, hardware, lifespan, deadlines, right? But on people, you have different workflows, cultures, team strengths, team sizes. And all of those parameters influence our technological choices in fundamental ways. Uh, yet we found that all those very important things are talked in only two uh, very bad venues. One is dark city bars around conferences. And the second worst one is uh, around company water coolers. So React is the venue for those kinds of discussions. We want to bring light on rendering engines in all their forms, from AAA to indie, console to mobile. We will see a lot of this even today. Um, games to applications to movies. And again, uh, we'll be uh, seeing some of that in this conference. And not just the state of the art, which of course is very welcome, but also just explaining why certain paths were taken, uh, how the sausage is really made. So, Let's see a little bit what we have for this year. This is our second time running the conference. Uh, the legend tells of a meeting of like-minded people at the Blarney Stone in Vancouver, here where I am, for SIGGRAPH 2018. And I told you that a lot of this happens in city bars. And it turns out that in different ways, we were all thinking about a venue like this one. So in 2021, uh, we created our first event. The first event started as a private invite-only conferences with invite presentations. Uh, but then we really wanted to make the content public, so we turned uh, all of that um, uh, into, into a public course at SIGGRAPH uh, 2021. This year, we wanted to double down on opening the conference up, so everyone is both free to attend, but also was free to submit talk. We, have, we had a um, call for submission. The results has been great. We had 11 talk submissions and we physically didn't have time uh, to be able to fit more uh, into the conference this year. So uh, apologies for a lot of talks that uh, we, we, we couldn't fit. And this was kind of scary, but we had more than 2,000 RSVPs. In fact, as I was doing those slides, I had to 
update that counter and probably if I look now, I would need to change the number again. So the, res the response was, was incredible. We hope you will enjoy this year's content. And um, all of this was to also encourage you now that you know our mission, um, if it's something that you agree that sparked something in your mind uh, to submit for content um, for next year. You can do so at our website. And now uh, on to the program. So this is uh, our calendar today, uh, the opening presentation where you are right now. We will go into our first uh, talk, which is Sebastian Altonen, uh, talking about the modern mobile rendering at High Pipe. Then between every pair of talks, we will have a short break. Uh, and uh, this is both to set up the next speaker and to give you some time to you know, uh, take a break from the conference. Second talk from the day, Task Graph Renderer at Activision, uh, presented by uh, Charlie and Francois. And then we close off today with uh, Voter talking about scripting language uh, and engines and the conflations of uh, both ideas. Day two, we have another three talks. Um, Far Cry, Engine Shader Pipeline with uh, Kong and Jendrick. Then Dan Baker will talk about Nitro's Decover Render Architecture, some new ideas on how to shape pixels. And we will close off with a um, talk from Weta uh, about their um, various renderers that they use in production uh, by Mark and Robert. Some last note before jumping into uh, the first presentation. Um, you are right now on a Zoom webinar and you cannot ask questions directly. So we strongly encourage everybody to jump on our Discord. There is uh, where you will find channels per each of the talk. And if you want to participate in the Q&A, you can drop a question, clearly mark it as a question in the relevant channel for the talk. Uh, a moderator will pick them up and ask them live. And of course, we probably won't be able to answer everything live, but the conversation will keep going then after the talk ends on Discord. Uh, the breaks, I already said, we will have a break um, between every pair of talks. Um, for technical reasons, you will see uh, at the beginning of the break, uh, we testing again, cameras and microphones for the next Q&A. Don't worry about that. Um, and then there will be a little break video and then the new, the new content. For recordings, we ask you guys not to record anything. All the talks will be available after the conference, right? It's permitting. Uh, the weather talk, the last talk of the last day is an exception. Will be only streamed live. Uh, we are seeing if we can have some of uh, that talk in some form uh, popping on our website, but we have to be uh, respectful of, of um, the trust uh, that uh, Weta had in, uh, in us uh, being able to showcase their work at, at our venue. And with this, uh, I think this is time for, for the first talk and uh, Natasha, who is the primary moderator for it. 